Monday, August 21st, 2023. I need Flanders. Mark Vance go. Well, LP's had a bit of an opening gap reversal, not quite back to the plus column, but at least a reverse a little bit from this oversold condition. As you can see, beginning to roll over a bit. Both time moving averages on the cusp of rolling over. Both time moving averages in the NASDAQ have rolled over to downtrend proper order. Not the end of the world, but ideally you want to see this thing rally sooner rather than late. A little bit of opening gap reversal there, too, but it, too, slightly in the minus column on the day. Rusty 2000 bounced back from its opening gap reversal, but eh, same as it ever was, wide and loose and sideways and pretty much all over the place. Decent day in the energies, but they really hadn't followed through much from this recent breakout in here. You know, routine one day at a time. Let's take a look at drugs. Drugs also really not a whole lot of follow through, kind of a one and done type of takeoff, but kind of hanging in there nonetheless and not too far from all time highs. A lot of other areas, though, stalling out or rolling over, manufacturing, MNC, and leisure, previously strong areas, not looking so hot as of late. Let's take a look at the semiconductors. Open again, reversal in the semis, a little bit of a bounce from oversold, but both type moving averages have rolled over there. In longer term, they do have some issues, a bit of a double top. Yeah, the work. So what do we do? Well, in light of this weakness, let's just let everybody continue to fight it out. Any questions, as usual, David, David I'm Dave Landry, and you just heard the market. I'm Dave Landry, and you just heard the market in a minute.